Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to yet another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility, the Thursday editions. We've got some extra special uh, reviews or extra reviews in general that we're bringing you here today because there's so much new stuff to talk about and some still some holdovers from late 2022. I'm just trying to play catch up. And since we've got no other programming today other than the uh, 9 o'clock morning show, I figured let me bring you some more new album reviews, right? So here we have a return from a band who debuted back in 1969 by 1970 they were pretty much done uh, but a very cool band nonetheless that had uh, two albums I guess technically they had three albums back in the day now this is their fourth album released many many decades later from I believe they were from California if I remember correctly no Tampa Florida I apologize for Tampa Florida the band is Blues Image and the album is called Next Voyage Lou's image you'll see featuring Mike Panera. Mike Panera, of course, founding member of Blue's Image, guitarist and vocalist. He also later would go on to join other bands of note, one of them being Iron Butterfly. He also was in Cactus for a while. He also was in Alice Cooper's band. Played in a band called the Classic Rock All-Star, so Mike has made the rounds over the years. He has put together a new version of Blues Image, featuring Tim Franklin on bass and vocals, Michael Franklin on keyboards and vocals. I'm assuming that's father-son. Maybe, maybe not, don't really know. And uh, Eddie Metz Jr. on drums and percussion. We've got some special guests on this album. we got uh, Pat Travers plays a little guitar on here. You got Jonathan Kane from Journey on Wurlitzer, uh, Charlie DeChant saxophone in a couple spots, uh, Tommy Car uh, Carlton on guitar, Steedy Joseph on percussion. Then you got a few guys on horns: Brian Snap, Charlie DeChant, Charlie Bertini, Brian Scanlon on woodwinds, oboe, flute, and clarinet. You got uh, Jerry Colby, and then on strings you got Chamber De Solar cello section leader Paul Fleury, and then you have a uh, choir. Recorded at Mixed at Solar Studios, Orlando, Florida. Yeah. So, for those of you who remember, or maybe don't remember, Blue Image, Blue's Image, do you remember the song Ride, Captain, Ride? Ride, Captain, Ride. That was Blue's Image, right? That was their one big hit back from their uh, their debut. Was it their debut album? Or, or the open album? don't remember actually which one it was. That was from the open, so that was their second album. So that was a big hit for them. Second album on Atco Records. And uh, I guess you can call their music psychedelic rock, hard rock. They also, with all the percussion and stuff, they adds like a little Latin element to their music as well. There's certainly some pop in there as well. So this album, what's this all about? Well, it still sounds like Blues Image. I guess if you got Mike Panera involved, right, on uh, vocals and guitar, it's going to kind of say, sounds great, playing great. This is a pretty rocking album, actually, and I was surprised uh, just how enjoyable this is. You got uh, Butterfly Blue kicks it off. Some sizzling guitar, pretty rocking song. You got Something to Say, Love is the Answer, all really good stuff. Isla is a little bit more atmospheric. Some nice silky guitars on there. You got uh, Leaving My Troubles Behind, more of like a bluesy tune. Then they do a really fun, incredible version of Inagata De Vida by Iron Butterfly. Now, of course, Mike played in Iron Butterfly. Not the original, original version, but I think the second second version of Iron Butterfly he was in. And they keep it pretty straight to the original, except you got a nice lengthy, and it, the, the riff is big, Fuzzy guitars, fuzzy organ. You got an extended organ solo, an extended guitar solo in it, and then you got the horn section in it as well. It's wild. Really, really good. When I saw that it was on here, I'm like, ah, geez, another band doing In a God of Vida. But this is basically Mike kind of redoing a song that he played on way back when. It's really fun. Then you got Fuge Pay My Dues, which is good rocking tune. I like that. And then you got Captain Sweet which uh, has Ride, Captain Ride in there amongst a couple of other things, like a long little medley of stuff, which is very, very cool too. Is this essential? Maybe, maybe not. I'd say it's definitely worth a listen. I, I really enjoy this. This is really good. I saw this come in, and I was kind of like, 
Ah, oh, man, blues image, all right? It's been like 50 plus years. How's this gonna be? Then I popped it in, like immediately, I was like, wow, this is really pretty damn good. Like I said, it's pretty rocking. There's some great guitar work on here, and uh, I would say give it a listen. Go check it out. It's on Solar Music Records. So, uh, yeah, go check it out. Next Voyage by Blues Image, featuring Mike Pinera. An easy 3.5 out of 5 star. Easy. Maybe even close to a 4. It's very, very enjoyable. Uh, late period stuff from a guy who's been around a million years, and damn if it's, you know, and that, that album cover is absolutely terrific as well. I like how the, uh, it's actually a guitar. It's a guitar and a keyboard piano, right? Kind of interesting. The doc. I really like that. Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, Blues Image, Next Voyage. Check it out. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. And also down below in the video description, the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned. Got more for you coming up today, so don't touch that dial. I am Pete Pardo. See you real soon here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.